I've been waiting to introduce this project for so long. I am building a smartphone from scratch. And I'm extremely excited because there's more and more of you people who actually want to help me with this. This is incredible. I've been doing all of my stuff by myself and now I have a team of people who want to help me? Is this a dream? Community driven open source smartphone, let's go. I can also add a Shrek image. That's so nice of you. I know what you're thinking. Why the fuck do you want to make a smartphone and go through all of that pain if there are already thousands of smartphone companies and everyone already has a smartphone? You, you really don't think, do you? When it comes to consumer electronics and stuff in general, I'm a firm believer in repairing it and taking care of your stuff for as long as possible. I also really like having control over my own devices. I don't like being locked out of my own stuff. Unfortunately, from what I see, manufacturers totally stop prioritizing user experience and reliability. Currently, they seem to be focusing just on getting more money from the customers. Apple is using titanium on their newest iPhone 15 Pro Max. Yeah. Enter the year 2025 and we have to replace our smartphones every two years because our battery is failing already and replacing the battery is more expensive than getting a new phone. I'm sure you understand this is just a business tactic that's there just to like get more money from you. My smartphone project isn't even a business, it's entirely open source. I don't make a single penny from my smartphone. Manufacturers do everything so it's harder for you to repair your own stuff, especially smartphones. For example, let's take Apple. They invented a special type of screw that didn't exist before just to make it harder for you to disassemble your things. Let's see what Forest Me has to say about that. Why can't I just take a fucking screwdriver, open the thing with standard screws and replace whatever part these things are manufactured in massive series and massive factories in China? There are plenty of spare parts and it's totally possible to make them available for people at normal prices but it's just not viable as a business strategy and I think it's a big problem and I want to do something about it. Let's talk about privacy for a second. Everything that has a microphone, your smartphone, your computers, your Alexas, your everything, your car even, is probably spying on you. I'm sure you've experienced this. You're just casually talking to someone about, you know, like, I really like vanilla cookies. And then, five minutes later, you get served highly targeted ads on all of your devices trying to sell you, guess what? Vanilla fucking cookies. Is that okay? Is that fucking okay? Dude, I fucking resent this opinion that people say, I don't have nothing to hide. I don't need privacy. I don't care. I'm not a t I don't give a shit about my privacy. I don't have nothing to hide. What the fuck, bro? Are you like stupid? There are some super easy solutions that could prevent that. It's extremely simple to implement. It's not even a technical challenge, even for me. Now picture this, picture this, okay? Let's say you have a small switch on the side of your phone that when you flip it, it disables the microphone completely. It shuts the power from it. Total disconnect. There is no way it can listen to you because you just disconnected it from power. Fuck you. And in our project, guess what? We're going to have four switches. One disables the microphone, one disables the camera, and one disables the GSM and GPS module. And the fourth one shuts down the entire battery. So like if you want to preserve your battery entirely, you can just disconnect it from the phone. Hell, if you want, you can just take out the battery and do whatever you want with it. You can even put in a different brand battery if you want. Okay, let's talk about how I'm going to implement this and how I'm going to integrate all of this stuff. Because that's quite a challenge, not like your average YouTube project. This is way better, you know, this is way fucking better. 
First things first, the main computer. It's really powerful. Actually, it's almost too powerful because it gets really hot. Yeah, it's one of the challenges I'm facing currently. <laughs> It's called the Compute Module 5 and it's a Raspberry Pi product, of course. Exactly the same components as the Pi 5, but made into a smaller form factor. Don't fall asleep there. The main difference is that it doesn't have all of the output ports that the Raspberry Pi 5 has. Like, it doesn't have a USB port, for example. Are you following me? The way you're supposed to be using it is that you make your own custom PCB and you implement two receptacles. And they match to the two plugs on the CM5. Don't fall asleep there, I see you. Then you take the CM5 and you plug it into your custom PCB. No soldering required, no strings attached. Now if I were you, I'd be thinking, Jan, dumbass, you can't build a smartphone by yourself. An average smartphone costs like 50 million dollars to design. Of course I'm going to take some shortcuts. My goal is not to hire a team of engineers. I already have a team of engineers on our Discord. I'm not going to design custom parts, except for the motherboard, of course. This way, it's easier to produce the thing. Second of all, it's cheaper. And third of all, it's easier to get replacement parts, if anything breaks. The motherboard's sole purpose is to connect all of the sub-circuits to the main computer. We have like 10 of them. USB, GSM GPS, fingerprint sensor, camera connector, uh, and others. If you want to see them all, it's public. You can just go to the GitHub. Now, some of these subsystems are already finished. Some of them need some more work because they are really complicated. Don't fall asleep there. And some of them have other people working on them like volunteers. Open source, yeah! Support your local open sourcer. Without open source, there would be no gaming, no YouTube, no Google, no nothing. No nothing. Wouldn't be shit. Really cool transition for YouTube engagement. Let's say I want to upgrade my smartphone from 4 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes for some reason. I just have to get a Compute Module 5 variant that has 16 gigabytes, take out the old one that had 4, and put in the new one. Whole operation would probably take you like a minute. I could do it with one hand actually. Additionally, there are many different clones of the Compute Module 5. So if you want to try an orange pie, banana pie, or whatever else, you like you're free to experiment maybe it will work i don't know in poland we have this saying he who doesn't risk doesn't get to drink the champagne actually alcohol is really bad for you so take risks but don't risk too much and don't worry about the champagne you don't need it bird okay that's it that's it i'm done um, I recently started a Patreon, so you can take a look at what I'm posting there. And also, subscribe, like, comment, join our Discord, start the GitHub repository, and do everything to help our project. See you in the next one. Without open source, there wouldn't be shit on this planet.